Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 7. This time we have HyperOS 2.0 based on Android 14. And one thing which is surprising is that this is an excellent ROM and I don't really know how come this ROM works so well on this device because I did try MIUI 12 on this device which was a stock ROM and it was so sluggish and so unusable. But this one is optimized so well for this device and it just blew my mind. I have been using this ROM about a week now and there are a lot to love about this ROM here. So in this video, I will explore this ROM and show you what is working and what is not working on this ROM. Hopefully you're going to like this video. So the ROM is booting up. It takes time actually. So as you can see here, the lock screen, I will come to lock screen later on. So as for now, as you can see, we are not getting a lot of application here actually. I did install most of them. Even this ROM does not really come with Play Store. So you have to install Play Store directly from Get Apps. It does come with Google's code application, but no Play Store. So you have to install directly from Get Apps. So let's see what we are getting with this ROM first. My device, as you can see, yes, Xiaomi's HyperOS 2.0, Redmi Note 7. And if I go to details, info and specs, so it is on Android 14 as you can see. Other specs you can see here. So in terms of connectivity, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi, everything is working perfectly fine, which is quite surprising. Even the Bo LTE is also working here. I could not able to log into my Xiaomi account here. So I could not able to check interconnectivity feature. For some reason, it is not working. So there is issue with that. In the personalization section, we do get all the features. So AOD is available and working perfectly fine. If you want to turn it on, you can turn it on. So as you can see here, AOD is working. And let me turn it off. And wallpaper and style, we do get all the wallpapers and you can get more of them theme section is available and you can download all the themes without any kind of issue icon section is available and everything seems to be working perfectly fine you can download themes and everything is doing well there is no ads or anything like that the rom is debloated perfectly and they disabled all kind of ads you might find some chinese language here and there as it is like ported rom so you will find those things but as far as my testing goes this is an excellent ROM for this device and we do get few other things here. The control center is there as you can see it is working well, no issue. Home screen, so there are a lot of features available for home screen you can check out all these things and they are working well, no issue. Sound and vibration working perfectly fine. In terms of fingerprint and lock screen. We don't really get any kind of face unlock here, but the finger pin unlock is working perfectly fine. No issue as you can see here, it is working. Privacy and security option is available. Xiaomi's own thing going on here. App section is available. App lock is here. Battery. So the battery is doing pretty well. Battery protection is also available as you can see here and also additional features. So in terms of battery also battery is doing well but no fast charging and in the additional setting we do get few other things here as you can see accessibility option tap plus i don't really know what it does but it is there floating windows memory extension so all these things are available here and in the additional features we do get few other things as you can see here i already disabled all these things So these are the things you are getting here. So it is doing pretty well and the, the animations are pretty good, not really bad. I thought it's going to be sluggish, but turns out actually good, not, not really that bad as you can see here, working well. Obviously not fluent like stock ROM or original HyperOS ROM, but it is doing pretty well. As you know, the specs of this device is not really that good, but anyway, it can handle these animations well, no issue at all. And another thing is that we do get full flash like lock screen options here. So you can customize lock screen. And if I show you the 
UI as you can see are pretty smooth actually. I did try Hyperverse on my Redmi Note 8 and these things actually pretty sluggish on that device but here as you can see are pretty smooth and it's kind of amazing. So these things are working well. In terms of application we do get MIUI camera here and MIUI camera is working well no issue so as you can see here. Gcam is working well so as you can see no issue at all. So in terms of camera also no issue and other things like Google Photos unlimited storage is not available as you can see and surprisingly Magic Editor does work here. So if I show you enhance and circle it is sluggish but it does work as you can see here we can erase. So it is doing a decent job so magic editor is also working kind of surprising but working well here and whatsapp is working well i did try phone call with whatsapp so it is working you can log into whatsapp account in terms of phone call as i said bo lt and bo wi-fi working and call recording is also working here so if i show you right now phone call as you can see recording is there so recording is also working although we don't really get any kind of circle to search or anything like that as you can see here I, I press and hold nothing is going on but as far as usability goes the rom is perfectly usable and another surprising thing is like gaming performance i don't really test gaming on this device but i did try call of duty here and the gaming performance is really good it is much better than the stock and few other custom rom i tried on this device this one is much better so for gaming also you can go with the ROM but unfortunately we are not getting any kind of safety net feature so bank apps not going to work on this ROM so if I show you our device so device is not certified so bank apps not going to work but anyway this is a perfectly usable ROM and if you want hyperverse on your device this is the ROM to go with so if you want to try this ROM I will put the ROM link in the description below and that's all about it and really thanks to the developer I don't really do that but really thanks to the developer for optimizing this ROM for this device. So that's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.